Snap appears with a sprite known as a turtle in the center of the stage. We can move the turtle about by typing in numbers into the X and Y coordinates. So 100, 100 would be in the upper right. And then minus 100, minus 100 would be in the lower left. We can tell the width of the stage with the width of the stage command. So I could potentially move the um, turtle somewhere between a random number that is the width of a stage divided by minus 2 to the width of the stage divided by 2. In other words, from minus 240 to 240. And if I drop that in to the, uh, the x position of go to xy and then set the uh, y position to 0, it will move the turtle back and forth from one side of the stage to the other. Now, if I replicate this, I can also do the same thing for the height of the stage, and that will then allow me to move randomly all around the stage. So, uh, that gives us a way uh, of picking a random position, and I'm just going to um, also be sure that the pin is up before we move, but otherwise it will draw a line that I may not want. So I'm going to call this uh, movement across the stage random position. So go to random position. Okay. And if I drop that in like this, then I have a command that will let me move about the stage. Now, when I, um, if I put the pen down and I move zero steps, it will draw a uh, circle. I can, that is essentially the movement of the tip of the uh, turtle. I can make that circle bigger by increasing the pen size. So now if I set the pen size to 10, I get a bigger circle or I can make it smaller if I make the pin size smaller, then I just get a tiny little dot. So I'm going to leave it about five for now. And that offers the possibility of moving about the stage, leaving little polka dots. So I'm going to call this uh, two set of two commands uh, that make a dot call that dot. So every time I run the dot command, I can go to a random position and then run the uh, dot command. And it'll, it'll make a dot of whatever size I specify. However, uh, it might be nice if the uh, colors were different. So the uh, pen commands allow me to set a color. So for example, if I want yellow, I can set it to yellow. But I can also set that with these commands. And so as I'm, each time I'm clicking it, I'm setting the color and the shade of the color. And now uh, as I go around, I'll set, go to a random position and then uh, make different, different size dots of different colors. If I do that a few times, um, then I should get some polka dots scattered all across the screen. And that's exactly, that's exactly what I get. So I'm going to call this uh, procedure that makes the polka dots. I'll go back over here and call this polka dot. And drop that in like that. I can uh, clear the screen and start uh, running my polka dot program all over the place. Now, if I want it to be bigger polka dots, then I could set it up to, say, uh, 15. And, oops, uh, let me set the sense pin size up. And then I get bigger polka dots. Uh, if I want it to go a little faster, uh, let me clear the screen. Uh, and if I want it to the whole thing go a little faster, I can hide the turtle 
And so now uh, I'll just get a series of polka dots of different sizes. So you can expo uh, explore doing, doing this. And uh, one, I barely see it, if I can see it at all. And then I get tiny little put on it. Uh, with a variation, you can make the polka dots different sizes. It's kind of up to you uh, what you find most aesthetically pleasing. But this method uh, lets you make the polka dots uh, whatever size you want. If you'd like this to happen very fast, you can drop the whole thing into a warp command, and then we can have the polka dots come out very fast, or you may just prefer to see them emerge gradually.